How's it going everyone? We're about to do a 15 minute bar abs workout with the dancer inspired movements. This routine pairs perfectly with some of my bar arms and bar legs workouts, so I will link some of my favorites in the description box down below. So grab your mat and let's get sculpting. All right, let's get started lying on our back. We have knees bent at 90 degrees over those hips. You're going to extend one leg with ballet arms, crunch and reach forward, then reach overhead. Here we go, alternating sides. Exhale, inhale. Good, it's like you're holding a big Easter egg here. Nice oval shape to those arms. Exhale, crunch, inhale down. Good, nice and controlled. All right, take a 15 second break. You're going to extend both legs. Hands find the head and elbows wide. Crunch and cross as you lift just the left leg and then lower. Here we go. Exhale, twist and crunch. Inhale, down. Good, really keeping those elbows wide. See if you can drop that low back to the floor, avoiding any arching you might be doing there. All right, take a break, then we'll switch to the other side with our right leg extending. Okay, here we go. Exhale, twist and crunch. Inhale, down. Good, there's lots of mobility in today's routine. So if at any point you need to bend those legs instead of keeping them straight, then that's okay too. Good, do the best you can. All right, take a break. Next up, we're gonna start in a boat position here. And then when we lower, you're gonna extend one leg, then come back up and you're alternating sides here. Okay, here we go. Start up top, engage that core. Slowly lower, come back up. Inhale, exhale. All right, take a break. We're gonna flip around for the next move and come into plank position. Cross your knee to the opposite uh, wrist. Then you're gonna tap wrist, elbow, wrist, back down, alternating sides. Okay, here we go. Find that plank, tap wrist, scoop up as we tap elbow, wrist, back down, alternating sides. Good, pull that belly into the spine as you lift that knee. And scoop, good.
Okay, come onto your side. Come onto you, your right side. Extend your arm in front. We're doing side crunches. Other hand behind your head. You're going to crunch up and down. Do a tons of five. You can do two legs together instead of just one. Good, here's what it looks like with both legs. Good, you can use this front arm. Really press into that forearm. Use it to help you. Good, lengthen that upper body the whole time. Okay, flip around. Come on to your other side. Stand your arm in front, other arm beside, behind your head, and get ready. Okay, here we go. Option one. We have one leg, bend and stretch. Option two, join me for both legs together. Okay, take a breather, flip onto your back. Arms by your side, we have reverse crunch, lift those hips off the ground. Then extend, you're gonna do four beats. Try and turn out those legs from the hips. Okay, here we go. Good, really control it as you lift those hips. One, two, three, four. The lower you uh, extend those legs to the floor, the harder it gets. So if you need to make it easier on yourself, you can extend them higher to the sky. Good. Really push through, challenge yourself here. All right, take a break. Next up, we have leg pulls. So option one, we have knee grabs. Option two, you're gonna grab the entire leg, straighten it out, and pull it towards you. Told you there was lots of mobility in this routine. Here we go. Again, option one, really pull that knee in, lift those shoulders off the ground. Option two, let's extend all the way. Really working strength and flexibility in this one at the same time. It's a double whammy. Good, lift those shoulders. Take a break. You're gonna cross the right ankle over the left thigh and open up that knee to this side. Hands behind the head and elbows wide. We have option one, crunch and lift the leg off the ground, keeping that leg bent. Option two, we're going to extend it. Here we go. Good, either tap or fully extend. Good, really drawing those ribs towards your hips here. Even when we're extending, still keep that contraction.
Okay, take a break before we move to the next side. Crossing left ankle over your right leg here. Open up those hips. I think that we need a guiding light. Right now we're okay, let's go. Option one, tap, lift and crunch. Tap and lift or join me for option two. All right, take a break. Next up, we have straddle. Arms overhead in that ballet position here. You're going to crunch and then crisscross. Crunch, crisscross. Here we go. Lift and lengthen, beat, beat. Good, keep those the uh, legs turned out here from the hips. Good, as much as you can. All right, next up, come into a boat position here. You're going to tap, then extend. All right, here we go. Tap, extend. But if you do need extra support by placing those hands down, then you can do that. around come onto your hands we're gonna do teeny tiny walks in create a little ball most of your weight should be in your hands scoop to the belly teeny tiny walks out back into that plank position here we go flat line teeny tiny walks in good really scoop and lift those hips teeny tiny walks out good keep that core engaged the whole time Good, weight is shifting forward as we come into that ball, all the way into those hands. You should be able to come all the way onto your tiptoes. Okay, your final move, you're coming down onto your forearms. And you're just going to rock forward, coming onto tiptoes, then back. Okay, let's go. Find that flat line, rocking forward, rocking back. Exhale, inhale. Good, keep breathing. Almost there, five seconds. Woo. 
Woo! Awesome job, you guys. You did it. You've made it through. That workout was not only a challenge for the core, but also for flexibility. So awesome work today. If you enjoyed it, then smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment below so we can chat there. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Just watch me.